Confusion and major safety concerns for those who live nearby. So much so, a TikTok account capturing these accidents on security camera has gained well over a million views. And Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger is live at that roundabout tonight on Roberta Road. And Sydney, what is exactly the concern there? Yeah, Brian, speeders and other drivers coming up to this roundabout on Roberta Road often don't see it because of how dark it is and how new it is. And so they end up veering off the road to try to avoid it or head over the median altogether. And the videos of these incidents, they just speak for themselves. It hasn't just happened once or twice or even three times. This new roundabout on Roberta Road has caused a lot of problems. When you get to the top of this hill and, and, and you're speeding, you're going to have a wreck. Tom Taylor's roots on Roberta Road spans back decades. He fought NCDOT tooth and nail when they proposed putting in a roundabout right in front of his home. But I tried to get them to put a stoplight up here. So did a lot of other people, not only me, but lots of other people. But in August, NCDOT finished installing the roundabout anyway. And since then, Taylor says there's been an incident nearly every day. The TikTok account, Roberta Road Roundabout, posts videos of incidents that happen there and has amassed thousands of followers. There's been lots of wrecks and people's um, done a lot of damage to cars out here. On Monday, Taylor said a driver put these skid marks in his neighbor's yard. And yes, it was captured on video. A few weeks ago, someone split a nearby telephone pole in two. Main problem is the roundabout itself in the location it's in. People can't see it coming up the hill either way. NCDOT told us, quote, in the past two weeks, we've made adjustments to sign spacing, added signs with flashers, and deployed portable message boards that display new traffic pattern. We will continue to monitor traffic patterns and adjust as needed. Neighbors now hoping people slow down before these crashes become deadly. Well, it's just like I thought, thought it would be, like I told the DOT it would be, and uh, they didn't... They didn't believe me, but now they see, I think. Yeah, neighbors also told me they think that the lanes in this roundabout are too small, and that causes big tractor trailers or even school buses to have to tilt over the median to get through. Tom Taylor, who you just heard speaking in that story there, says he hopes NCDOT puts in better lighting so drivers can see this roundabout a little better. I'm live in Concord, Sydney Heiberger. Queen City News. Yeah, the lighting would certainly help. As you can see, only of our news lighting uh, from you to be in there on the dangerous spot right now, Sydney. All right, thank you for that uh, report there. Let's take